Isn't it interesting how so many of us trust the ingredients in our food and assume that the additives must be safe or they wouldn't be in our food? Wrong! Well, we're going to talk about the conflicts of interest that are rampant in the food industry concerning food additives, things like salt and trans fats and artificial sweeteners and flavors and so forth, and FDA approval under GRAS, which is G-R-A-S, then stands for Generally Recognized as Safe. Yeah. So is the FDA doing its job to protect Hardly. us? There's no job at all there because they don't review it in, uh, most of the time because companies don't have to report uh, to the FDA. But they can make a voluntary report. And if they do, what they do is they tend to make a, a report that sounds good. This is so much like the cosmetic industry. Absolutely. Because they have this CIR and it's composed of the people that make the assessments uh, for safety or the manufacturers of the products. Exactly. So it's the same thing. Exactly. What happened here is a study was done in the journal called Internal Medicine in August of 2013. And what they did is, is they found that 100% of food additives that the FDA reports uh, had reported on from 1997 to 2012 all those reports were made by people associated with the food industry, and there were no third parties involved at all, so it was all conflict of interest. So tell us about these inside experts. Well, a lot of these inside experts, Vicki, are people who are hired, or they're all hired, by the manufacturing industry. And when, when that happens, you know that they're going to be loyal. Otherwise, they're not going to be added. And there are some cases where uh, one person was on over 100 panels, and, and I mean... <laughs> talk about somebody who can be purchased and many other cases where they were on dozens of panels. We, so sure need it. we really need a better food safety um, system in our country. Exactly. So it's now up to the manufacturers to do what they want. Now, if the FDA reviews it, which they would if they make a report, they may say, no, this is not something that's grass. It's not generally regarded as safe. And uh, they send a note back and, and tell them if they have to withdraw the... Uh, application uh, for their, I guess, for their approval. So but, the, foods, the food safety is dependent on the integrity of the manufacturer. Well, that's right. But the thing about the FDA, what I was getting to, oh. is that when they do file a report that the FDA doesn't think is a good report, uh, they just tell them it's not a good report and no action is taken. It's up to the manufacturer to do what the manufacturer wants. So we don't have the kind of protection that we deserve. And there are tens of thousands of food additives that are in our food that are not there naturally that are doing things that could be very harmful to us. Well, there was a grass uh, criteria in 1997, I guess, and it never was ever finalized. So nobody was paying you know, attention. That was 15 years ago. What Vicky's trying to say here is that they had a, an organization that, that supervised grass but it never really was official, and, and that's why we're seeing an organization that doesn't have much in the way of power to it. And then you talk to the grocers' associations, and they're telling you, well, we think it's just fine, because it's all about the bottom line, which is return on investment. So the companies, if they're in control, you can't trust. Uh, the parties that they hire and pay had better write a report that is favorable or they're not going to get hired a second time. And the FDA is just looking over it going, well, it's up to you because we don't have any power to do anything about it. And then so nothing's enforced. Right. So what can we do about it? Well, we need to have an FDA that's really protecting us. Congress needs to empower the FDA to be a true force that regulates everything that, that we put in our body, that we eat, uh, whether it's a preservative or additive or, or just the regular food grown in soils that may not be healthy. So it's really up to us to take some responsibility for learning about the ingredients that are in the food well, and why some of these things are harmful. A lot of people think, well, it's okay to give their children colored frosting on their birthday cakes and, and colored sprinkles better. on their ice cream and right. it's made out of coal tar and petroleum and... Right. And they just assume that it's safe because it's in food. Oh, well, it's food coloring. Yeah. Well, see, the way you can protect yourself 
is eat real food. Meaning if it looks like a watermelon or a zucchini or Unless a string bean. genetically engineered. Yeah, well, that's another problem. <laughs> so, I mean, that's true. So if it looks like a whole food and it's not genetically engineered and it doesn't have pesticides and hormones and antibiotics added in its processing, you probably can eat that safely. But if it's in a package and it's got long names that you don't know what they are, I think because of the poor regulation of the FDA, the conflicts of interest, uh, and the bottom line being money, there's too much corruption that is uh, putting bad substances into our body. It has to do with money. You know, all the bottom line is money. So let's see what we can do to influence our Congress people, which doesn't seem to be an easy thing because our Congress people are corrupt themselves. But if we demand it and don't buy the things that have go. the artificial there ingredients and additives in them, then That's right. they're going to... So have to change. So read the labels. And if the labels have things in it that you don't know what they are, most of the time they're not going to be a good idea. But not just the labels. You have to read the ingredients because many times the labels are deceptive. Yeah, that's what I meant. That's a good yeah, point. Yeah. All right. So is the FDA protecting us? Not much. Can we trust them? No. Take responsibility yourself. And if you do, chances are you're going to be eating food that's a lot more healthy. Maybe the best thing to do is grow your own if you can. 